guys, it's time for that first drive. I'm a little bit hyped because I've already driven it for this. I've already done the editing and uh, let's just say it done better than I thought. So you guys know the truck. It's box stock. It's going to be on 3S. We're getting outside right now. Let's go. Here we go. Um, the right hand turn can use some work. Left hand seems halfway okay. We are at walking speed on 3S. Um, it's a beastly thing. Here's second gear. All right. Nice. <laughs> Look good out here. Got to be careful with this thing. I don't want to bust this body out. <laughs> yeah. I can see first gear needing a little bit more power. Second gear could use a little bit as well. I mean, it's a big old beast. Of course, we're going to give this a shot on the rocks. Um, I'm not so sure the steering is going to get the job done, but we'll see now. This thing is a monster on here. Just look at this. So, I mean, as the bigger the vehicle, the smaller the obstacle, right? Now the tires are conforming well. That looks good. Let's see if I can, actually the tires are conforming really well. That could be, all right, now turn. There we go. Oh, I don't want to fall this thing fall off of here. The tires are really conforming well. Kind of after work so it's a little bit late i'm not even going to try that that's just too narrow all right let's ease this thing right on down there we go see if i can avoid that these tires are really conforming or they're just actually too soft for once when i get done a bit of bonding this thing out ooh. oh i'm stuck on the axle there we go. Oh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> and no, we're not trying the nasty. Uh, not even a little bit. It's wide enough, but oh, maybe uh, maybe another time I'll try the nasty. Look at that tire performing right there. I gotta say, it's doing better than I thought. You can definitely tell it needs a little bit more steering work on it. And I got an idea of something because that is not even all the way on the steering. We'll line up, see if we can get across the pipes here. <laughs> now this is, uh, uh, this is climb time. If this monster gets up this, it's just because it's so huge. Golly. Oh. Oh. This thing goes over. I'm going to grab it. This thing. Golly. It's just so big. I'm totally on edge right now. Oh, oh totally on edge uh, here it dragging down the ESC the servo but it got it <laughs> I guess I guess size matters doesn't it well since we're uh, on this oh I gotta back up on this thing man <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Oh, oh man. Uh, let's see. Where am I at here? I'm... Now, these blocks are like 16 inches wide. Um, this thing starts going over. I'm going for it. Uh oh. Get my. Not touching it. 
Not touching it. Not touching it. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> One more line of rocks just because, uh, well, I got to. Now, it is kind of, like I said, it's kind of in the evening here. Um, this thing is so big, it makes the obstacles look small. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed with the first drive. I really am. Are we going to have a six-scale six competition course? I seriously doubt it. Um, just so you know, the king has arrived. He's watching this thing with, uh, look at him, eyes. Oh, he's, now he's not impressed. He was all like googly eyed on it. Wow, look at the tires, they just come forward. Golly, the steering is just. So the steering runs off the BEC, and the BEC is dragging down so hard. Um, that's a big load on the ESC. And the BEC isn't really meant to take that kind of abuse on an ESC. I don't know, lots of SCs and ECs and all that stuff here, but oh man, look at that. Oh. The control of this system is really good in the rocks. Really good in the rocks. Now slowly easing across this. The thing is crawling really good. Uh-oh. Sam decided to say the heck with this. It's crawling really good. I mean, the steering is actually adequate for, I guess, trail stuff. When you get into this right here, that tire compression, tire roll, when you get into this kind of stuff though, you need more than that. And that's what we're gonna work on. Get an idea. Let's see, I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna lean my way quite a bit. I'm gonna test the center of gravity a little bit on this thing. It's quiet. I like that. I never put any exo cage stickers on this thing. <laughs> Come on, Sam. <laughs> the lights are on his butt. There we go. <laughs> okay, we got two more things I got to do. Sam, really quit mooning the truck. One more thing I gotta try. Gotta see if it can get up the hopper. This thing, as big as it is, should crawl this. I mean, look at it. It's all the way to the top of it. Oh, my God. I was flexing some stuff out over there. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, I need some more turn. wonder if uh, there's a way to... Well, it's still new to the market right now, but... Wonder if there's gonna be some overdrive gears for this thing. Which would help it in the rocks. Not sure if that would be needed on the trail though, you know. Would probably hurt efficiency. The thing is doing great. Easy. Look at see all the turn it can get there when it's not under bind. That was able to get everything. I want to get that kind of turn. Just simply. Just get it. There we go. Man, if this thing had dig on it, ooh. There we go, there we go. Oh. Nice. Although it's way too big for the woods course, let's see if they can at least make it up the spiral staircase. Oh man, these tires are just absorbing all these edges and just walking it. Look at that. Wow. 
<laughs> that is awesome. Good gracious, Sam is not leaving me alone today. Look at that. I know it's not going to fit through this. <laughs> oh, the tires are on both sides. Nice run, though. Nice climb. Got to get one more jump. When the sun's going down like this, speed doesn't really work out very well. But... say I think it ran really good on the trail I think uh, it should be a beautiful thing man 3s is mild it's not crazy but it ran good tonight and everything survived yeah guys that was a good drive um it's so big it makes everything small it made it up climb time um, when it went down fall time, the tires was actually on the bottom before the back tires even got the hook. So that was pretty darn awesome. It's a very smooth driving truck. The shocks work great in my opinion. Um, the tires, they absorb well. They work good. They seem to stick really good. Really happy with that. So uh, as I add all the bit of onto this, it's probably going to gain another 10 pounds, estimating. So I may have to try to find some stiffer foams. Maybe by the time I get all that, we'll have some, right? Maybe. Don't know. But anyway, um, I was happy with the drive. I think i uh, got to try to work on that steering a little bit. Um, you can actually hear it drag the ESC down. Now, the ESC on this is really small. It really needed a bigger ESC. Um, but it drags down the BEC inside of the ESC. Okay, and when you load that circuit, that circuit isn't really designed to take that much of a sustained load. So if you pop that circuit in the ESC, usually the whole thing is dead. So that may be the issue that what I've seen where a few guys have claimed that the ESC has went dead. So that may be it right there. I'm going to try to do an external BEC to go around that and some steering mods. But that's for another video. Guys, check that description for this thing. Um, last I checked, they were in stock. Uh, it's a big chunk of change, but it's a big chunk of crawler too. So guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. And this thing is awesome. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.